All right, what's up guys? Steve over at Scion VJJ. What we're looking at is utilizing the hood just like we would with a gi, but of course on the street variation. So what we're looking at is when he comes in with the punch, I'm basically going into the basic tie clinch by holding the back of the head. I'm gonna peel the hood off. I'm gonna pull it down to control his base. As I control his base, I'm utilizing my weight to stop his posture. My outside hand will come underneath and it's gonna feed off. I'm making sure that my hand is connected right to the artery and that's where I make my grip. Now once I make my grip, I'm gonna still pull and use my weight. My outside hand now comes across to the shoulder blade. I'm gripping, my forearm will drop down cutting off the other artery. Now what I like to do is I keep my weight to stop him from posturing up or from throwing in any knees or strikes. I lean on him and I step back with the choke. Eventually, he's just gonna roll down. I can go to knee on belly, I can control or I can just step and back off and back away. So again, he comes in, I'm catching the punch, I'm clipping, I'm controlling, I'm pulling it off, feeding it, keeping his posture, stepping back, controlling, control, control, down. Last time. If he has the hood off, that's fine too. We're coming in, I'm grabbing the back of the head still to keep the distance in the clinch, and I'm just gonna feed over to the hood. Pulling it down, controlling his posture and his base. Hand feeds over, grips, loop, step, step, step. Now, so same choke if we're inside the guard. I'm in my guard and I'm looking for the punch coming in, I'm controlling, I'm wrapping. The only thing that I'm gonna do different now is I'm gonna go around his arm to control the punch. I'm feeding, shooting across, hand either slides up or wraps around, hip out, control, control, back. Again, if the hood's on, same thing. I'm controlling. Keeping myself safe, I'm peeling the hood off, sliding underneath, feeding it, catching, controlling, out he goes. So, even with the gi, we're still utilizing the hood, just like a lapel. The gi is just a tool that you can use. It's six feet of rope around my neck, six feet of rope around his neck, so that I have the option to use my lapel, his lapel, but in this situation, I'm utilizing his hood, coming in, controlling, boom. So, in the future, I have a nice little DVD coming out, hopefully at the end of the year, that's gonna have about maybe 20 to 30 different hoodie chokes from different positions, back, front. So, enjoy this, have some fun. Shane over at Fight Tips, thank you very much for sharing my video. Come check us out at Scion Jiu-Jitsu. Thanks a lot.